I was recently made aware of a story that shocked me. It really, really hit me because I hate, hate, hate stories like this when people squander their potential and ruin their future while they're so young that it just completely disrails their life. And that's what this story is about, about a young basketball phenom by the name of Mikey Williams. And we're gonna talk about it today. Before we do, once again, let me reintroduce myself. My name is Elliot Connie, and I'm a licensed psychotherapist. And here in the Therapist React series, I like to talk about what's going on in the news and in pop culture, so I can share with you life lessons, psychotherapeutic things, and the psychology behind each story so that we can have improved mental health as a people and in society and just be happier and overall healthy. So please subscribe to this channel. Uh, I appreciate your support. So now that we got that up, got that out of the way, let me bring you up to date on this story. They ordered former San Ysidro High School basketball star Mikey Williams to stand trial on six felony gun charges. The knives threatened them at his home moments before the Tesla they were riding in was hit by gunfire. Williams, who is committed to play at the University of Memphis, faces up to 28 years in prison. So that's Mikey Williams. And just to give you an update, Mikey Williams is an incredibly talented basketball player. While he was in high school in 2021, he was the first high school player ever to sign a shoe deal. He signed a shoe deal, I believe, with Puma. He was one of the people to, from an early standpoint, benefit from the NIL deals that amateur athletes could now sign. And he really wanted to play college basketball. He signed to play at University of Memphis under legendary head coach Anfordy Penny Hardaway. I mean, this kid's future was completely lined up. He was gonna have an amazing college career and very likely go play in professional basketball league, the NBA. But then one night, he allegedly fired shots into a vehicle that contained, I believe, four people. He had gotten into an argument with somebody and fired shots into this loaded vehicle. Thankfully, none of the people in the vehicle were injured. I, I have no idea how that could happen, but none of the people in the vehicle were injured. However, he is being charged with five counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and then and he's facing 28 years in prison. Very recently, the judge determined that he must stand trial. He is currently a freshman at University of Memphis, but he's not allowed to be around the team until this court case resolves itself, and it is very likely that this court case is gonna resolve itself in a way that is not good for his future. And the lesson I wanna share is, I remember having a football coach when I was a teenager, I had a football coach who said, you can't win a game in the first quarter, but you can lose it. Meaning if you make too many mistakes early, it becomes insurmountable to overcome in a game. And I think sports are sometimes a metaphor for life. And when I heard this story, I thought about my coach, like you can't win a game in the first quarter, but you can lose it. Mikey Williams is in the first quarter of his life and he's just made some choices that are gonna cost him, very likely to cost him a lot of time behind bars in his life. And those are the years when he would have been a professional athlete, very likely a professional athlete, certainly a college athlete. And I wanna, I wanna let you know, like choices matter. You can literally change your life positively or negatively based upon one choice, one moment. You have to stay focused if you want to succeed in anything, in this case, basketball, in my case, becoming a psychotherapist. But you have to be really focused and make sure that you are making decisions that are in line with being the person you want to be and achieving the outcome you want to achieve. You could literally make one bad decision and throw your plan off and you can make one good decision and propel your plan forward. But this is sad, like one night, one decision, one lost moment of rage, frustration, anger, whatever it was, I have no idea what they were fighting about. Maybe it was money or a girl or, or somebody disrespected somebody else. But in this one decision, Mikey Williams is gonna very likely spend a lot of time behind bars and those are the prime years of his athletic career. And I think that's sad. So it also needs to be a lesson to us that if we wanna be successful in something, we have to make the kinds of decisions that keep us moving in the direction of that thing and never forget the lesson that my coach told me. You cannot win a game in the first quarter, but you can lose it. 
So leave a comment below. I'd love to hear what you think of this story in this video that I just made. I find these stories really, really sad and tragic. Uh, and for all parties involved, like I, I, it's, I can't imagine what it must have been like to be in that car when all these shots were, were ringing through. And, and I can't imagine what it must be like to be Mikey Williams and be living with an epic level of regret and shame. But we need to remember that lesson. So leave a comment below. I read every single comment and I try to respond to every single comment. I also want you to continue to support my channel. So like this video, share this video, subscribe to my channel. That would mean the world to me. I appreciate every single subscriber and make sure you hit the notification bell so you get notified each and every time we post a new video, which is every single day, Monday through Friday. See you in the next video.